Technology giant Cisco has signed a deal with the Ontario government that will create up to 1,700 jobs over the next six years. The company's investing $4 billion to build research and development facilities in the province, and the province of Ontario is chipping in $220 million. The deal will be in place for 10 years, and it could add a lot more jobs in the province by 2024. Thousands of anti-government protesters continued to camp out today in Kiev's Independence Square as Ukraine's president met with opposition leaders. It's the first time both sides have come together since mass demonstrations broke out in the nation's capital three weeks ago. The president proposed amnesty for protesters facing criminal charges, but that didn't appease the opposition. It's demanding he step down. Thousands of South Africans were turned away today as the gates closed on their final chance to say a personal goodbye to Nelson Mandela. Officials had said earlier in the day they wouldn't be able to accommodate the estimated 100,000 people who lined the streets of Pretoria, leaving many mourners frustrated and devastated. Large crowds pushed through police barriers, desperate to pay their final respects on this third and final day that Mandela's body laid in state. Tomorrow, his body will be flown to his home village of Kunu, where funeral rehearsals have already been taking place. Police, military personnel, government officials and media have all gathered in the eastern Cape town where he will be buried on Sunday. Mandela's funeral is expected to be much smaller than what we've seen this past week and will focus mostly on his family's final goodbyes. And a touching surprise for shoppers at a grocery store in Johannesburg. A flash mob tribute to Nelson Mandela. Many shoppers were brought to tears by the gesture. Those employees are actually members of the Grammy award-winning Soweto Gospel Choir. The song is a famous anti-apartheid anthem from the 1980s calling for Mandela's release from prison.